Good evening and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews with me, Dave the Beer Dad, <coughs> back again for another punt at the Beer Review. Uh, this one is another Tesco beer. Um, this one was donated to me by Frank Till from work. Cheers, Frank. This is a Four Pure and it's their Coastline, which is a gooseberry and vanilla dry hopped sour. Here it is. Look at that. This weighs in at around about £3 per can. It is 6% ABV. It is 30 IBUs. Um, there's all the guff you want on the back there. There's a whole load of more guff on the back from 4 Pure. Canned on the 20th of March 19, and best before the 15th of December. It says so there. So, let's crack on. A double dry hot, double dry hot sour. Pop the top, and let's see what we've got. At 6%. Okay. There we go. Every last drop. All in there. What have we got? Beer in a glass. Slightly cloudy. Hello. Hi. Slightly cloudy. Golden beer, you've got a finger of white head, very white, sooty head. Very little carbonation going up from the bottom. There's a couple of bubbles, but it's not, much, not a great deal to mention. So, let's get a nose to what we can smell. <coughs> we'll get the gooseberry, a bit, a bit of tartness, tartiness. A touch of touch of creamy yeah I suppose vanilla -y. vanilla there very little else if I'm being honest what it says it's got it's pretty much what it's got you can taste the sour fruit you can smell the the, 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 the vanilla let's go big taste Oh, well, I wasn't expecting that. Nil carbonation. Very, very, very light. Um, light bodied as well. Um, borderline water, but really light bodied. It's a big mouthful. Cheers. First of all, it's not a sour, okay? It, it's, a, it's pretending to be, it starts off and you get a little bit of, just a little touch of, of tart. <coughs> but that's from the gooseberries, where there's, there's a little bit of lemon in there. And there's very, and then this, this vanilla sort of creaminess comes through, like a, uh, like a double, a, a, a Chantilly double creamed flavor. And then that's it. It, it, just, it just disappears and falls off the cliff. There's not a great deal going on with this beer. A bit of a little bit of spice. Um, whether that's meant to be there or not, I don't know. But it's certainly not a sour. It is more like a, just a regular, a regular beer. Um, let's see what it says on the back here. Warm sun. A cool breeze and comfortable chair with an ocean view. Are not the requisites are, are not requisites for enjoying coastline, but they help. Gooseberry and fresh vanilla pods create a beer that is lightly soured with sweet notes from vanilla. Fruity tartness from the gooseberry and a hoppy notes give plenty of uh, plentiful amounts of citra hops and everyday sour. It's very, very light on the sour, considering some of the sours that I've had. I'm not overly keen on a vanilla finish to be fair. It's either do it sweet or do it sour. This doesn't for me it doesn't work as a as a beer. I don't particularly like it. I don't think it's it's any it's, it's any great sort of whale beater or any great shakes as a beer. The potential is there for it to be really good. 
Right, we need to, I think, it, personally, I think it needs to be tweaked. You can't take it to 6%. I'll be honest with that. I thought that's a really good thing. The, the, the four people can hide their stuff really, really well. I am getting a little bit of a, a bear here. I don't know if it's spice. But it says any spice on it, or whether it's alcohol. It's just a little bit uncomfortable, if I'm being honest. So, let's wrap this up then. Coastline by Four Pure. Gooseberry with a dry hop, dry hop sour. Do I like it? No, I don't. Would I buy it again? Well, I didn't buy this one. I've obviously done it to me and again, thank you, Frank. But this is not right off, this is very nice. Um, would I recommend it to friends? No. See, I know there's a guy I work with called Paul, Paul Eustace. If you're watching Paul, what are you talking about? This is shit. Um, he said it was pretty good, he enjoyed it. Oh well. What about meats of the man's poison, as they say, or whatever this bloody saying goes. Anyway, I'll just neck this now and we'll, we'll wrap it up. Not good. Not good. Uh, I'm fine with some of the four pure stuff. The quality is kind of starting to wane a little bit. I don't know if that's because of lacking of got their paws into them and they're starting to tweak about with it and mess about with it. Um, I've got one more new one from Four Pure that's that Dane something, Dane Tree or Drain Tree or whatever it is, I've got that one to try. <coughs> but I don't go out my way to buy Four Pure beers. Um, so if you've had this one, let me know what you think. Put a little uh, comment below. And there will be a link to the Four Pure Brewery as well. <coughs> if you liked the video, Give us a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give me a thumbs down. And either way, just hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Drop a comment in, and I'll speak to you on the next one. Here, Leo.